Hello, my name's Lee Barnes and I'm a graphic designer currently working for Name Studio in Leeds. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually create a contact sheet in InDesign. Now, in previous versions of Creative Suite, um, you might have actually used Photoshop to do your contact sheets in the past. Um, the function to do a contact sheet was actually in Automate and in this little panel here. But for one reason or another, in recent versions of Creative Suite, it's actually been taken out of Photoshop and most people are now using Bridge to create the contact sheets. Um, to be fair, Bridge is probably better if you're going to be doing um, a lot of images. Um, but this little tip in InDesign is just a quick and easy contact sheet function um, which few people might not know about because it's just a couple of little keys that you press. Um, so getting started, obviously you need to start up InDesign, create a new document and you want to have already collated some images in a folder. So go to File and Place, which is Apple and D if you want to use the shortcut. And here you can see I've got an images folder. All the images are already in there. I've got 12 images that I want to create a contact sheet from. So I select all of them. You can do that by either clicking on the top one, then holding shift and clicking on the bottom one, or just click and drag to select all of those. Press open, and it might take a little bit of time just to um, process all of those going into, into one there. And when it's ready, you can see a little thumbnail there showing you that you've got 12 images ready to be placed. Um, now, what we're going to do is, instead of just clicking and dragging to place one, and then the next one, and so on and so on, um, you're actually going to hold Apple and Shift together. And as you can see, you can get that, there's a little grid sort of icon that comes up next to your cursor there. Show that you, you that again. Apple and Shift together, and that little grid icon comes up. So just place the images as you normally would, but obviously bearing in mind that you've got your 12 coming up there. And just drag your bounding box out. Now, if you want to, you can release Apple and Shift, but keep your um, mouse clicked and held down, and you can see you can see that that grid actually still stays on the display there. Um, if you want to alter the amount of images that you're going to be placing into the one box, what you need to do is press the left and right keys. Um, left and right will add and delete columns, as you can see there. Right to add a column, left to delete a column. Um, and up and down to add a row. So obviously if you've got hundreds of images and you want to do it on one sheet, you can, which is great. Um, so as I said before, we're working with 12. So I'm going to leave it as 12. But I want to make sure that I'm using up all of the space so I get all of the images coming out at a decent size. Um, and to do that, I'm holding the Apple key. And again, just the arrow keys to alter the spaces in between each image. As you can see there, I'm altering the spacing in between the left and right edges of each image. I'm going to just maximize how much space we're using. And then I'm going to add a little bit of space in between the bottom edge and the top edge of each image by just pressing and holding Apple and up and down. That little bit of space there will be used for a caption. So I'm pretty happy with that. I think that'll work. And once you're done, just release your mouse. And there you go. There's your 12 images all dropped in. And um, obviously know which ones you uh, want to work with. So just drag across all images and get them highlighted and to add a caption it's as simple as going to object up in the top scrolling down to captions and then clicking generate static caption that'll automatically drag in your file name and place it underneath in that nice bit of space that we created for each caption so there you go it's really as simple as that to be honest um, as I say, it's a great tool to use for just a quick and easy contact sheet um, where you don't require that many images to be on one page or batch, um, batch together.
Um, so I hope it comes in useful with you future projects. And um, thanks for listening. <laughs>